Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be the most awesome sleepover ever. Yup, let's go over our sleepover gear checklist, Franklin. Sleeping bags, check. And pillows, check. Well, that's all the gear you need for a sleepover. Nuh-uh. I've got a few extra things to make this sleepover our best one yet. Okay, a flashlight to write our names on the ceiling after lights out. Whoa, neato! Next, my mom made us a bag of popcorn. Mmm, a late night snack. And last but not least, a jumble book of spooky ghost stories. Ooh, I don't know, Franklin. Ghost stories? That's the other reason why I brought the flashlight. Guaranteed anti-spook protection. <laughs> <laughs> nice gear, boys. But seeing as how you always stay up way past your bedtimes on these sleepovers, do you really think you need sleeping bags? <laughs> Dad! Mr. <Just a> Turtle! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, of course. You know Mom and I don't mind you staying up late, Franklin. Uh, at least for just one night. Thanks, Dad. That's great. I just got an idea that would make this sleepover even more fun. Huh? What is it? Here, this is my portable radio. Cool. When I was a boy, I used to listen to baseball games when I was oh. supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> and remember to tune in tonight for a rare rebroadcast of the Submarine Rescue Guys Old Time Radio Show. Whoa! A Submarine Rescue Guys radio show? Cool. Wow. Yes, the Submarine Rescue Guys, as they used to sound. Only on the late, late, late show. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> I remember the Submarine Rescue Guys radio show. You know, I distinctly remember asking my dad for permission to stay up for that very show. Submarine Rescue Guys. Submarine Rescue Guys. We are the rangers who face the dangers that lurk beneath the seas. Aye, aye. We're Submarine Rescue Guys. Go, <laughs> that theme song is pretty much all I remember about the show. Wow. I don't care how late we stay up. We've got to hear that show. I'll tell you what. Because I made you listen to my singing, you two can stay up and listen to that show. Yes! Awesome! On one condition. Extra long makeup naps tomorrow. Deal? <laughs> Deal! Ah, the show should come in clearly now. Good luck staying up, boys. No problemo, Dad. To the waves! To the waves! Submarine yeah! rescue guys! <laughs> this is so exciting! Can't wait till that show starts! <laughs> Me neither. <sighs> Uh, how long has it been, Franklin? Hmm. Ten seconds? Oh, that's it? This might be harder than we thought. <sighs> See? It's not gonna be hard staying up. It's gonna be easy. Right, Bear? Bear, wake up! Huh? What? Oh, hey, Franklin. Is it time for the show? Bear? You were sleeping. No, I wasn't. I was just, um, just resting my eyelids. That's all. Well, I don't feel tired now. I can stay up all night. I'll tell you all about the Submarine Rescue Guys radio show when you wake up in the morning, Bear. <sighs> ha ha, Franklin. I can stay up just as late as you can. Are you sure about that, Bear? You look pretty sleepy right now. Why don't I help you out? Um, Lullaby. Hey, quit it, Franklin. <laughs> wow, Bear, you really do fall asleep fast. <gasps> See, Bear, check it out. <laughs> it was a dark and moonless night in the deserted swamp when... <laughs> oh, brother, did I fall asleep again? Oh, thanks for waking me up, buddy. I didn't wake you up. I was so bored by myself that I fell asleep, too. What are we going to do? We have to stay up to hear the radio show. Come on, let's get a glass of water and come up with a plan. <sighs> That's better. It's only been 30 minutes and we can barely keep our eyes open. We've got to do something if we want to stay awake. But I'm so sleepy. Don't worry, Bear. I know what we have to do. 
We just have to help each other stay awake. Right. And on my oath as a junior submarine rescue guy, I'm gonna keep you awake, no matter what. Okay, Bear, you ready? <laughs> yep. Begin Operation Stay Awake. I never realized how cozy my sleeping bag looks. <gasps> so cozy. <laughs> there. That's all taken care of. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. Now, if we really want to stay awake, we have to use all our sleepover activities. Right. Hmm? Oh, brother. This leftover red cellophane from my old volcano project will make it look just like we're on Mars. Right, Bear? Awesome. <laughs> what? Wow, wow, Mars. Huh? Whoa, looks like I'm on no sleep duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice touch, Bear. <sighs> Harriet's bubbles make a really cool Martian lava effect. <sighs> this isn't working, Bear. We're still falling asleep. Uh, at last week's sleepover, we couldn't fall asleep even when we tried. That's because we were giggling so hard, my dad had to come in and quiet us down. Hmm. But what made us laugh so hard? Um... <gasps> silly, silly songs! songs. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. <clears throat> Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a triple-decker salami cheddar and hot mustard sandwich, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> okay, Franklin, now it's your turn. Let's see, let's see. Okay, got it. Jingle bells, bear's feet smell. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, Franklin, be quiet. Uh, kids, you may be trying to stay up all night, but Harriet is certainly not. Please keep it down in here, okay? Sure, Dad. We were just singing silly songs to keep us awake. And, hey, you know a silly song? I do? Yeah, the old submarine rescue guy's radio theme song. Can you teach us the words so we can sing along? Well, I... I don't know. Come on, Mr. Turtle. Please, Dad. We'll sing quietly. Okay, just once. Submarine mm. rescue guy. Submarine rescue guys We are the rangers Who face all the dangers That lurk beneath the seas Aye, aye We're the submarine rescue guys One more time Submarine rescue guys Ooh. Very nice, boys But can we have a repeat performance in the morning? Harriet is trying to sleep. Oops, sorry, dear. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> We've had our fun, boys. Now keep it down so Harriet won't wake up, okay? <laughs> okay. Dad, do you think you can take our pillows? We're trying to stay up, and they're way too cozy to keep in here. I'll put them just outside in case you change your minds. Thanks, kids. <sighs> Uh-oh. This isn't getting any easier. <sighs> Oh, there's still so much time left until the radio show. Maybe we should just give up and go to bed. No, Bear, we've got to stick to the plan. We've come so far already. Yeah, you've got a point, Franklin. Besides, the real submarine rescue guys wouldn't give up. If only they were here to keep us awake. Bear, you're a genius. I am? Yep. Da, 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 da. To, to the, the waves! waves! A little bit of submarine rescue guys exploring might just be enough to keep us away. You got it, Bear. Uh, uh, the lair of the giant cave crab. Luckily, it's asleep. <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, it's not a sleeping bag anymore, remember? It's cozy like a sleeping bag. Would you think it was cozy? If it was a giant sea worm about to slurp you up, whoa, that woke me up. <laughs> How are my sleepy submarine rescue guys doing? We're really sleepy submarine rescue guys. Staying up late is really hard. If I remember correctly, Foxy and I never did hear that radio show. <laughs> really? You missed it? We both fell asleep right after the theme song. Ha! <laughs> no wonder that's all I remember. <laughs> well... 
Maybe it is okay if we go to sleep. Right, Bear? <laughs> yeah. It would have been cool to hear the show, but we had our own submarine rescue guys adventures. Yeah, cool ones too. It doesn't seem like such a big deal anymore if we miss the show. We'll hear it again one day. <sighs> oh. Hmm. <gasps> the show? We, we did it, Bear. We did? We did! Now scooch over. I want to hear this. We are the submarine rescue guys, as they used to sound. See, Bear? I told you this is going to be the most awesome sleepover ever. <laughs> yeah, even if we didn't sleep. Huh? You'll hear the show one day, Dad. Who face the dangers that lurk beneath the sea's eye. The submarine rescue guys! Gotta get these apples to the store. Watch out, Franklin. You're headed for the river. <laughs> Close one. But what do we do now? They're counting on us to deliver these apples on time. Oh, uh, we need a bridge. How do we build one? Hmm. Bet you we can find an idea over there. Yeah. Ta-da! Great. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Great bridge, Bear. <laughs> Thanks. Now our apples will arrive on time. Hey, and good storybook to use, too. What story is it? Farmer Wilma and her three silly sons. I love this book. My dad used to read it to me all the time. The sons are so silly. <laughs> hey, that's my dad. <laughs> Couldn't leave you hanging. That's right. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mr. Groundhog. Huh? Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Come on. Hey, wait up. <laughs> Don't worry about anything. Just enjoy your trip. <laughs> Well, thanks. That's mighty neighborly of you. Where are you going, Mr. Groundhog? I'm off to visit my cousin Phil. Your father's kindly offered to take care of my garden while I'm away. Coolio! Just like Farmer Wilma. Remember that book, Dad? Sure do. Can I help you take care of Mr. Groundhog's garden? Like I help you at home, Dad? I help my parents in the garden, too. My dad even calls me Sprout sometimes. <laughs> Sounds like you young fellows really enjoy working in the dirt. Uh, what do you think, Mr. Turtle? Hmm. Well, it is a big responsibility, but I think they'll do you proud, Mr. Groundhog. Yeah! All right! Then, all right. You can pitch cool. in. Not the whole garden, mind you, but I think I have just the plot for two budding farmers. These plum tomatoes are almost ready to harvest, and you boys can take care of them. Don't worry. Bear and I will keep your plants safe. And watered. Uh, 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 but not too much. Gotcha. We'll do a great job. Now we should be getting home, boys. Don't worry, Mr. Groundhog. Your garden's in good hands. Have a good time, Mr. Groundhog. Bye, tomatoes. See you tomorrow. And keep growing. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> morning, tomatoes. Good morning, tomatoes. Are you thirsty? Uh-oh. Look, Bear. Crows. <laughs> They'll leave Mr. Groundhog's garden. Shoot! Shoot! Go away! Shoot! Shoot! Hmm. I sure hope those crows didn't eat any of the tomatoes. I'm afraid they did. We've got some hungry garden friends on our hands. Oh, no. But we promised Mr. Groundhog we'd take good care of his garden. We've got to keep these crows away. You know, you might want to try... That's okay, Dad. The tomato patch is our responsibility. Bear and I can fix this by ourselves. <laughs> yeah! All right. Then I'll go try and get rid of those aphids I saw in the bean plants. Aphids? Are they like crows? Kind of. Both can harm plants, but aphids are teeny tiny insects. Small creatures that cause big trouble. Can you shoo aphids away? No, but if I spray the beans with soapy water, that usually keeps them off. Hey, will soapy water work on crows? I doubt it. It would just make them wet and slippery. But I bet Farmer Wilma will know what to do. Good thinking. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Bear. Okay, Franklin. <laughs> Where's Farmer Wilma? It was here yesterday. Hey, I know. We could just use the books like this. Shoo, crows, shoo! Only we'd have to stay in the garden all day and all night doing that. Right. My arms are getting tired just thinking about it. There it is! Huh? Farmer Wilma and her three silly sons. It's in here somewhere. 
There! In the story, Farmer Wilma has a scarecrow. See, the scarecrow looks like somebody standing in the garden. Sort of weird looking somebody. But the crows will think somebody's there. And when somebody's there, the crows will go somewhere else. Hey, that could work. It has to. I mean, why would they call them scarecrows if they didn't scare crows? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hmm, doesn't look that hard to make. Are you sure? Mm, sticks, straw, and clothes. Let's look in the dress-up trunk. Okay. Let's take a look. Hey, here's a hat. <laughs> and some fireman's overalls. Great start, Bear. So, where do we start? We need to stuff the clothes with straw, just like in the book. Okay, Franklin. That's funny. I keep stuffing and stuffing, but it doesn't get any fuller. Uh... Bear? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need to make it stand up. Yes! Oops. I think we forgot the stick. Yeah. We did it! Way to go, partner! Hmm. A scary scarecrow needs a scary face. Okay, Franklin. Coming right up. It's not the same as the scarecrow in the book. But if it keeps the crows away, it's the coolioist! Ta-da! Uh, I don't know. That scarecrow looks more goofy than scary. Trust me, if you were a crow, you'd be scared. If you say so. Franklin, Bear, time to go home, boys. Okay, Dad. We're taking extra good care of the tomatoes. We even made a scarecrow. <laughs> he looks great, Franklin. But it's just about supper time. We'll come back bright and early tomorrow. Okay, Dad. See you later, Scarecrow. Bye. Keep those crows away from the <laughs> garden. Good. Our Scarecrow's still standing. Yep, but I think he had company. Uh-oh. Oh, those birds were snacking again. Mr. Groundhog's not going to be happy when he sees that his tomatoes are gone. Maybe I should help you boys. No, Dad. This is our responsibility. We'll take care of it. Okay, then. Uh, just call if you need me. Maybe the crows don't know they're supposed to be scared. But the crows in the story were really afraid of the scarecrow. Maybe we need something scarier. Pirates are scary. Why don't we dress up our scarecrow as a pirate? Hmm. Arg! Be gone, you greedy crows! <laughs> <laughs> the crows flew away when we walked over here. I wonder if they'd be more scared if our scarecrow could move. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> That's it. When the wind blows, it'll look like it's moving. Hey, watch out! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Bear. Hmm. Okay, Bear. Ready? Take a look. Okay, go! <clears throat> Okay, Franklin, here we go. <clears throat> nice. Oops. Aww. No. If we can't get the scarecrow to work, all the tomatoes will be eaten. <coughs> hey, bring that back. <coughs> Ew. <gasps> I think they're taking our straw to make it nest. Oh, dear. Hey. Shoo, shoo. Franklin, Bear, could you help me, please? Coming, Dad. Dad, our scarecrow didn't work at all. Well, so I saw. Well, I'm not having any luck with my plants, either. That soapy water didn't do anything to stop these aphids. Now Mr. Groundhog is going to come back to no tomatoes and no beans. Well, not necessarily. I brought ladybugs. Um, how are they supposed to help? Ladybugs love to eat aphids. So, will you boys help me release these little garden helpers? Okay. Sure. Be very gentle. 
Hope you ladybugs are hungry. I'm sure they are. Off you go. See, there's more than one way to get rid of an aphid. Maybe there's more than one way to get rid of crows. But crows are way too big for ladybugs to eat. <sighs> <laughs> no, Bear, not ladybugs. But there must be something else we can do. Come on, right behind you. Oops. <gasps> That's it. Yesterday, when we yelled at the birds, they flew away. And when you tripped on the watering can and made that noise, that scared the birds too. Hey, you're right. We don't need a scarecrow. We need a sound crow. Follow me. I have an idea. Hey, wait up. What's your big surprise, Franklin? Just wait until you see it. Take a look. Wow, that's impressive. What a great idea. And it works beautifully. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hello, Mr. Groundhog. Hello. Hi, Mr. Groundhog. Wow, that's a lot of tomatoes. And they're all for my favorite neighbors. Really? Are you sure you can spare them? Oh, absolutely. I, I have so many I don't know what to do with them all. <laughs> now, usually the crows eat at least half of my crop, but thanks to you and Bear, I'll have enough for the whole year and then some. We've definitely got some hungry crows around here, but Bear and I kept them away. Your sound crow sure did the trick. <laughs> thanks. Yum. Thanks, Mr. Groundhog. So maybe you and Bear could help me out next year? You can count on it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me.